I'm talking to the Lord because I don't want to mess it up. Right. And I don't want to have to go through it again. Right. So therefore, I'm going to talk to the Lord so I can break that cycle. Yeah. So I can break that generational curse that's yeah. trying to, yeah, I want all of that broken. So when God starts to use you, the enemy can't bring that back up. That's right. And say, you should have, could have, would have. Come on now. But instead of saying, you should have, could have, would have, I'm saying, Lord, but I want to be obedient. That's right. So this is what God is dealing with me about. Okay? So if he's dealing with me about it, maybe somebody else thinks he'll about it. Yes, Lord. Yeah, when well, God heals, he heals. Yes, yes, he does. He rips the band-aid off. Because yes. he wants to heal from the inside oh, out. Yes. Not just on the outside. But he yes. wants to go to the root of the matter. Yes. And when he goes to the root of the matter and reacts it out and then starts to heal you, the enemy can't come back and play on that same area. All yes, right. right. All right. Thank you, Lord. Woo. I tell you, this is <laughs> it's going to be tight, but it's right. Yeah. Even in situations where you could have popped off. Right. Come on now. You could have popped off and you could have been justified about it. Yeah. But because God has already dealt with you, delivered you, and deal with your heart, you don't pop off. Instead of popping off, you show them love. Mm. So, y'all, I thank God for what he's doing. Yeah. I thank God yeah. for what he's doing. That way, when you go back and, and, and you're doing what you're supposed to do, and the enemy try to throw stuff up, you say, Lord, I done done what you told me to Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I went country. Lord, I done done Come what on. you told me to do. You told me to do that way, and I did it that way. So, Lord, if anything happened, that's on it. Hallelujah. So, Lord, I done done it. I did what you told me to do. I followed your footsteps. You said go right. I went right. You said fix your face. I fixed my face. You Come said shut now. your mouth. I shut my mouth. I had to keep looking straight. You said don't let a tear drop. I had to hold my mouth. I had to keep walking and I didn't cry until I got in my car. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Come on. Walk with me. Oh, God. Closing on my house. 
They talk about doing this and doing that. But if God don't do it, oh, nah. I paid my taxes. Uh, I made my vow to pay them. Uh, uh, I paid my offer. Uh, I made sure my pastor was taken care of. Yeah. I made sure my children had what they did. Yeah. But right now, God, I need you. I need you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's not always money that I need. Uh, right? yeah. I just need you, God, to just let me know. I'm doing the right thing. Right. Right. And then when somebody comes to you and says, I just get inspiration from you, and you think to yourself, but you don't know. I almost went crazy last night. Mm -hmm. But God dealt with me, and he comforted me, and he kept me. That's it. I want Jesus to walk with me, but most of all, I want to walk with him. If I walk with him, he'll give me what I need. Those things that I stand in need of. Okay, anybody else? And, and what you were saying, Lord, as I'm going through, there's a key word in there, through. Yes. Oh. Yeah. As you're going through, not standing okay. still, That's right. not being stuck in a pity corner, but as I'm going through. Yes. Because as I'm going through, he's walking with me, and I can bring up a scripture for you. Psalms 119 and 105, thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Yeah. And a light unto my path. Why would you think God would bring you some, to something and not take you through? That's right. If He brings you to something, He's already equipped you for this battle. Yeah. He's already taught you. He's already given you the words that you need. Mm -hmm. Study to show thyself. Mm -hmm. He's given it to you. He's put it in you. He's not gonna bring you to it and then leave you. All right. He's gonna walk with you. Well, Lord, why, where you at? You brought me to it. Lord, where you at? What the teacher does is always talk during the test. He's already given you all the equipment that you need for this That's test. Right. That's right. That's right. Are you studying? Mm. Are, are, did you study your notes? Are you taking notes as you're giving this Come on now. Mm. I'm a teacher. I do that. Did you take notes? What did I just say? Mm. Do you remember what I said? What did I say in class? I've given you all the equipment that you need. Oh. Yeah. He's giving it to you. He's giving it to you. You remember what he told you? He's prophesied many things to you. Come on now. He's prophesied many things to you. He said he's used even the children to tell you what thus said the Lord. Come on. Were you paying attention to you? Or were you looking at the package? Thank you, You know, all, all this good, what you said that we need to walk through, we need to teach. You know what our problem is? We want God to do it all. Yeah. We don't yeah. want no part in it. That's right. But we want the reward that comes with it. Yeah. We, we give up and we quit. We get yeah. people say, you pray. Mm -hmm. But when I pray, it got to be like a microwave. Uh -huh. It got to be now. Mm -hmm. If it ain't now that I give up, I quit. Mm -hmm. I, I could have studied. Mm -hmm. and when you give me the pop test, Jesus. Why can't I just go to my sister and say, why don't you give me the answer? Mm -hmm. She studied. Jesus. I didn't Jesus. study. Because mm. we're always looking for the quick way out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This ain't a quick journey. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if you think this journey is a quick journey, you better get on. Mm -hmm. Or don't get on. Right. Because if you're willing to pay the price, mm -hmm. if you're willing to go all the way to the end, mm -hmm. then you'll get your reward. But every, but every person or every every man of God or woman of God, child of God or whatever you call them, everybody got a part to play. Yes, right. and, you, and you got to play your own part while you're going through. Because if you don't play your part, you'll be left behind. Yes, right. And as you say, when you're going through, and just a while ago, I, I cut out the middleman and went straight to God. Because uh -huh. God is you is what I need. That's right. Now you got a part to play and I got a part to play. I can't go through this thing without faith. Uh -huh. I'm believing and I'm trusting and I'm believing and I'm walking to you. Yes, if you walk with me, I'll walk with you. Yes. You say, do what I do, I'll do with you too. Because I, I know you're faithful to do your part. Yes, yes. But am I faithful to do my part? Mm. And I'm learning every day as I trust him, mm. I got to do my part. Mm -hmm. And when people see you going through, like you said, that's a teachable moment. Yes. I don't see how you make it, how, how, you, how you're holding up, how you're going through. Jesus. That's right. If it had uh, not been for him on my oh side, my I couldn't have uh, Thank you, God. Oh, my God. I, I couldn't have Jesus. I need him. 
Because uh -huh. see, when your friends come to you, they tell you everything. Uh -huh. Well, you do this. And do, if I was you, I'd do this. Why don't you tell me if you were me, why don't you trust in the Lord? Uh -huh. Why don't you trust in, and believe what God can do for you? Right. Because he'll do what man cannot do. Right. Yes, he will. I don't need to be told now. I don't need to be talked about. Ah, right. I need your prayers. I need you with me while I'm going through. Come on now. You know, the Bible says, yeah, yeah, you know, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. Everybody going to be in the valley. Come on. And when you're in the valley, it ain't going to never play. You're in the ground. That's right. You're in the deep part of it. But he said, yeah, you know, I walk through, so don't stop. Right. Come on now. Don't right. stop crying. Right. Don't worry about them dropping rocks. Finally, you'll see the end of it. Yes, you'll see the end of it, and you'll see the light of it, and God will bring you to it. You can't get away. Yes, That's our duty. Yes. Amen. You were talking about faith. If you go back to Hebrews 11, it says, uh, by faith. By faith. By faith, Abraham. By faith, Noah. By faith. They had to have faith. And if you don't know what faith is, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, I ain't gonna take it. Go ahead. <laughs> Cutting out the building. We have to cut out the building. God didn't talk for no better man. Right. Because what he done, that's right. The middle man ain't gonna do it. All the middle man ain't gonna do is go and tell him the one that you should have went to. Because he is the answer to your prayer. He can send it however you need it. Whether it's financially, spiritually, mentally, however you need it. And see, and sometimes we be asking for a thing to be solved one way, but God said, no, she ain't ready for that. I need to do it this way. Why? Because when you get to that, if I had, if I had given it to you the way you asked for it, you'd have left me. So I'm looking out for you. I want you to stay with me. So I'm going to give it to you this way so you can grow some more and then you can get it that way. Cutting out the middle man. Go straight to him. I like that. Amen. Amen. Go straight to Jesus. Come on. Take your problems to Jesus. <laughs> Think about that song saying, He is the man in the middle. Mm -hmm. He's the man. And he said, I looked at Hebrew voice, I looked at it, and I seen another man. Mm -hmm. He is the man in the middle. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to look no further. He's the man in the middle. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think about this morning, I was on my way here this morning. He was saying that, I, you know, I was thinking of a back on something mm -hmm. and that was trying to come back up. But I said, Lord, I already cast that care upon you. But you care for me. I'm not going to pick that back up. That's right. I cast it upon you. But right. you care for me. So it's That's yours. Right. It's yours. No more mine. It's yours. Mm -hmm. So it's in your hand. Mm -hmm. It's in your hand. Exactly. And when I say cut out the middle man, I'm talking about people. I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about people. Yeah. You know, it's just cut out the people. And I'm going straight to my father. That's mm -hmm. right. You was talking about faith. And last year, I really learned about faith. Because like you say, you have to cut out the middle man. When I was at the hospital before Unjust Kingdom got there, and they called a code on my husband, I had to have faith and say, God, strengthen me. That's all I can say. Strengthen me, strengthen me, strengthen me, strengthen me. And I'm going to tell you, he strengthened me. Because the thing about it is, like you say, cut out the middle man. I couldn't go to Aunt Josephine. I couldn't call you. I couldn't call Tanya. Why? Because you can't do what I need. I had to go to God and say, Lord, if you don't help me, help me not to lose my mind. Help me to keep it in a row, God. But you got to have, like you say, faith. Even when your faith is slipping, one thing mama taught us was, Lord, help me and die my unbelief. And I remember she used to say that all the time. And I said, mama, 
What you're saying, she said, you'll understand by and by. Mm -hmm. And I understand it by and by. And then when I lost my mama three months later, it was like, okay, Lord, it, I mean, is, is, it, is it trying to hurt me? But you know what? I had to go back to God again. And I said, Lord, you know. I don't know, but you know the reason. And I'm going to be honest. If I didn't have my family and the prayers of them wrapping around me, I'm telling y'all, that's what we need is faith. And yes, it gets weary when we walking, like Pastor said, when we walking through the valley and it's narrow and you like, ain't nobody walking with me. I'm by myself. All kind of demons and things are trying to attack me. Lord, what's going on? But the Lord said, I'm right beside you. Just because it's narrow, I'm right there. I'm holding your hand. Amen. And it's all in God's time. We can pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and fast and pray and lay prostrate and pray and pray and pray and bow and pray that everything is in God's time. Even when we want to go, I need you to do it now, I need you to do it now, Lord. And the Lord said, it is in my time. Not your timing, my timing. Why? Because his time is perfect timing. Yes, it is. Even though it may seem late for us, but it's perfect time to watch because it's going to line up with some other things. Yeah. And so therefore, when the testimony comes, you can't say, well, I did. No, the Lord did this. That's and it had to be did. nobody but the Lord because I couldn't turn to nobody else. Mm -hmm. The Lord did this. He puts this puzzle right. piece right here together to make this whole magnificent creation. God did this. I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. But God did it. And amen on the uh, Sunday school. Uh, uh, but, <laughs> And he sent this message this morning, and he said, tell the people of God that God has called forth this congregation to call forth water out of a rock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, how are you going to do that when you better be walking with the Lord? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You better be walking with the Lord. Uh -huh. He told Moses yeah, he to call does. forth the water in the rock. Yeah. Moses didn't do what he told him to do. He struck the rock, mm -hmm. and the water still came out. But because he didn't follow those directions to the T, he didn't go to the promised land. Right. Mm -hmm. Y'all better be obedient. Do exactly what the Lord told you to do. Hello. He even told Samson. Samson had uh, killed a thousand men with the jawbone of a donkey. Mm -hmm. And after he got done, he said, Lord, are you going to let me defeat all these men? And then me die in this dread, die in this desert, for these uncircumcised Philistines. Yeah. What did the Lord do? Let the water come out of the room. God is going to supply your every need. Your every need. You don't have to turn to nobody else unless he say, go to this person and talk to them. Unless he leads you and guides you. God is going to supply your every need. You sitting there stressing, causing your blood pressure to go up. Sitting there about to have a heart attack just because you can't figure out how this puzzle piece is going to work now. over here. How I'm going to pay Peter to pay Bob. How I'm going to do this. How I'm going to do that. And the Lord said, why aren't you looking at me? Cut out the middle man. I am your supplier. I am your healer. I am your counselor. The Lord God himself. So when you're going through those moments and the enemy want to give you a pity party, Lord, I come straight to you. I come to you just yeah. as I am. God, you said in your word, you, you said you were going to do this for me. You said this. You said that. God, I'm going to give you your word back. You said this. You said that. And you know what he told you. God, I'm leading unto you. God, I turn my back and I turn my face against the wall. God, I come to you. My help. No other can I call. Lord, I need you in this moment. God, if you want to do it, it can't be done. I won't move unless you say move. God, I thank you. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your peace in the midst of the storm. Thank you for your peace as I go. Thank you for your favor as I go. And when he started doing something, don't be surprised. That's just part of your testimony. Anybody else got anything to go with this breakfast?